Welcome to the fascinating journey of exploration into one of the most intriguing mysteries in human history, Homo floresiensis, also known as the Flores people. On a small island in Indonesia, archaeologists have discovered an ancient human species no taller than a child. These findings have not only captured the attention of the scientific community, but have also sparked considerable debate regarding the origins and existence of this remarkable human species. In today's video, we will dive deep into the history, biological characteristics, and daily habits of Homo floresiensis. Additionally, we will discuss the current research and varying perspectives surrounding this species. The aim of this video is to help you gain a clearer understanding of Homo floresiensis's role in the broader picture of human history. Stay tuned as this exciting journey will unveil new insights and surprises about one of the most unique human species to have ever existed. To gain a better understanding of Homo floresiensis, we need to turn back time and explore the place where they were discovered, Flores Island, Indonesia. This island is situated within a larger chain of Indonesian islands, and what's remarkable is its rich and diverse environment, perfect for the evolution of many species, including humans. Homo floresiensis was first discovered in 2003 in a cave known as Liang Bua. Scientists found a nearly complete skeleton of an individual, along with artifacts and stone tools. Research indicates that Homo floresiensis lived on this island approximately 100,000 to 60,000 years ago. The existence of this human species raises many intriguing questions about their origins and development. One of the aspects that makes Homo floresiensis unique is their small stature. They stood about 3.3 feet tall and weighed less than modern humans. This has led many to hypothesize that they could be a variant of Homo sapiens, isolated on the island and developing distinct characteristics to adapt to their environment. When compared to other human species like Homo sapiens and Neanderthals, we see fascinating examples of diversity in human evolution. Understanding Homo floresiensis not only helps us comprehend the genetic variation within our species, but also opens new avenues for research into how different human species lived and thrived during the same period. These findings clearly indicate that Homo floresiensis is not just a part of human history, but also serves as a testament to the richness and diversity of our evolutionary journey. Homo floresiensis not only impresses with their historical story, but also with their unique biological traits. One of the first things we notice is their size. Fossils indicate that Homo floresiensis stood at only about 3.3 feet tall, with a petite body characteristic of an ancient human species. They exhibit several distinctive features compared to Homo sapiens. For instance, the skull of Homo floresiensis is much smaller, with a brain volume of only about 380 and 420 cm3, smaller than that of a modern child. However, this small brain size does not equate to inferior cognitive abilities. Many studies suggest that they may have used tools, engaged in hunting, and even developed their own cultural practices. Additionally, the bone structure of Homo floresiensis is noteworthy. Their leg bones indicate adaptations for movement in dense forest environments, while their arm bones appear strong enough for tool use. This suggests that they not only survived, but also honed essential survival skills to adapt to the harsh conditions of Flores Island. One intriguing question is whether they could have possessed social skills such as food sharing and group cooperation. Some recent studies suggest that Homo floresiensis may have organized into social groups, which is a crucial factor for survival in a challenging world. In summary, the biological characteristics of Homo floresiensis are not only a showcase of diversity within humanity, but also demonstrate their adaptability and intelligence. Through these studies, we gain a deeper understanding of how humans evolved and survived in different circumstances throughout history. Homo floresiensis is not only a biological phenomenon, but also a symbol of a unique way of life and living habits. To gain a deeper understanding of how these ancient humans survived and thrived, we need to examine their diet and the tools they used. 
Based on studies of archaeological sites, it appears that the diet of Homo floresiensis was quite diverse. They likely consumed a variety of natural foods, such as fruits, tubers, and possibly small animals they hunted, like rodents or even larger prey. Findings suggest that they may have utilized stone tools to assist in foraging and processing food. Although there is limited evidence of the culture of Homo floresiensis, some sites indicate that they may have developed a primitive culture with carefully crafted tools. They may have created simple yet effective stone tools for purposes essential to survival, such as hunting and food preparation. These tools are not only products of creativity, but also demonstrate their adaptability and complex thinking. Not just focused on survival, Homo floresiensis may have engaged in social interactions. It is possible that they lived in small groups, sharing food and supporting one another in their quest for sustenance. This group cohesion could have been a crucial factor in their survival in the challenging environment of Flores Island. Additionally, some studies have indicated that Homo floresiensis might have engaged in early forms of belief or spirituality. Signs found in the caves they inhabited may suggest they performed rituals or symbolic activities. This raises questions about their consciousness and worldview, indicating that, despite their small stature, they may have had rich thoughts and emotions similar to modern humans. Through studies of the lives and habits of Homo floresiensis, we not only gain a clearer understanding of how this ancient species lived, but also recognize that the richness of cultural life is an essential part of our evolutionary history. Homo floresiensis has sparked significant controversy within the scientific community since their discovery. One of the largest debates surrounding this species is their origin and classification. Some researchers propose that Homo floresiensis may be a smaller variant of Homo sapiens, while others suggest they may represent a distinct species with a separate, more ancient lineage. Another contentious aspect is the brain size of Homo floresiensis. With a brain volume of only about 380 to 420 ccmp3, many wonder whether they could engage in complex intellectual activities such as tool production or social communication. While numerous studies have indicated that they still possessed relatively high capabilities in tool use, there remains considerable skepticism about whether their small brain size might limit their abilities compared to other human species. In addition to cultural and behavioral aspects, another interesting question is why Homo floresiensis went extinct. Some hypotheses suggest that climate change and alterations to their habitat may have led to resource depletion and increased competition with other species, including Homo sapiens. These changes may have made survival increasingly difficult, ultimately leading to their extinction. Currently, research on Homo floresiensis continues to evolve. Biologists and archaeologists are employing advanced technologies such as DNA analysis and modern imaging techniques to explore this species further. One significant advancement in research has been the discovery of new fossils and archaeological materials, creating opportunities to more accurately assess their origins, evolution and history. Moreover, in recent years, scientists have conducted comparative genomic analyses of Homo floresiensis alongside other human species. Discoveries revealing that they may share some genetic similarities with Homo sapiens have sparked extensive discussions about the relationships between human species around the world. Ultimately, studying Homo floresiensis not only helps us understand a unique human species, but also broadens our perspective on the diversity and richness of human evolution. Although many aspects remain unknown, the journey to explore Homo floresiensis is sure to continue, promising new secrets about the origins and development of humanity. Homo floresiensis, with their unique characteristics and fascinating story, has opened a new door in our understanding of human evolution. The discovery of this species not only enriches the diverse tapestry of humanity, but also challenges us to rethink what we know about our ancestors and the paths that humanity has traversed. Through studies of the history, biology and living habits of Homo floresiensis, we see that they were not merely small ancient humans, but resilient survivors who thrived in a challenging environment. 
Their way of life demonstrates that survival and adaptation are two key factors in the evolutionary journey of life on Earth. The debates surrounding the origins and extinction of Homo floresiensis continue to be explored and researched. With advancements in technology and research methods, we believe that new discoveries will emerge, allowing us to gain a deeper understanding not only of Homo floresiensis, but also of the entire trajectory of human development. When we reflect on Homo floresiensis, questions about the nature of humanity and the relationships between species become even more enriching. They are part of the history that we must remember and honor. It is our hope that this journey of exploration will inspire curiosity and lead us to further discoveries in the future, helping us understand ourselves and humanity more comprehensively. Thank you for watching this video. If you found the story of Homo floresiensis interesting, please like and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss future videos. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.